How to measure biparietal diameter. First, obtain an axial view of the skull. In this view, the thalami, the midline fox, and the cavum septum pellucidum should be visualized. This is the thalami. This is the midline fox. This box-like structure is the cavum septum pellucidum. The calipers should be placed at the outer edge of the near calvarial wall to the inner edge of the far calvarial wall. How to measure femur length? Slide the probe caudally from the fetal abdomen until the urinary bladder is visualized. At this point, a cross section of upper femur is usually seen. Keeping the anterior femur in view, rotate the probe slowly until the full length of the femur is obtained. Make the femur lies at a slight angle 5 to 15 degree to the horizontal plane to easily define the endpoints of the femur. Once the image is satisfactory, the calipers should be placed on the outer edges of the femoral bone excluding the trochanter. How to measure abdominal circumference? Obtain a transverse view of the fetal abdomen as close as possible to the circle. The umbilical vein should be at the anterior part. The stomach should be visualized. There should be no kidneys or heart. The fetal spine is best positioned at the side. Place the calipers on the outer border of the abdominal skin. How to perform umbilical artery Doppler. Identify a free loop of the umbilical cord. Turn on color Doppler. Turn on pulse Doppler. Adjust the Doppler waveform. How to perform middle cerebral artery Doppler. Start with the biparietal diameter view. Move caudally to visualize the butterfly shape of supracellar cistern. Activate color Doppler to visualize the middle cerebral artery. Position a small sample volume 2 mm beyond the MCA origin. Optimize the spectral Doppler to get a large waveform.
How to Measure Amniotic Fluid Index The first step in measuring amniotic fluid index is to visually divide the uterus into four equal quadrants using two lines. A transverse line passing through the umbilicus and the vertical line passing through linea nigra. Step 2. Measure the deepest vertical pocket of fluid in each quadrant with the transducer perpendicular to the floor. Pockets should be free of cord and fetal parts. And measurements should be in centimeter. How to measure fetal heart rate First, focus on the fetal heart. Then, activate the M mode. The fetal heart should be positioned to the sonographic marker and the heartbeat waves are visualized on the screen. Freeze the image. The distance between the peaks can be marked and the machine counts the heart rate which is displayed directly on the screen.